Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today it's Sunday and it is the question answer session so I'll discuss about all the questions that have come in from the viewers and also un have an understanding of where the market is headed and what you should do so let's get started first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation people taking any position into any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about before I start with the question and succession here's a request to all the viewers and uh, the subscribers uh, that kindly support me through patreon it is one of the safest way to uh, put money into or support anybody online uh, across the globe uh, I'll be able to make better videos I'll be able to uh, put in more time in making videos and would try to make videos every day uh, because of my uh, busyness with other stuff I am not able to make videos uh, solely on YouTube and perhaps with a little bit of support just a two dollar a month support 140 rupees a month support uh, from you all uh, would help me to gain even further leverage into this field and I'll definitely improve upon uh, the videos that I'm trying to make uh, over the next uh, few months once I have uh, a hundred patrons on board and I have around two hundred dollars per month uh, to to be as as, as patronage uh, then I'll definitely start with a uh, education channel or an educational video series for about uh, 16 weeks and that would uh, go through everything that I have learned over the last eight nine years in terms of investments and how to trade in the market and it will be completely free for all on YouTube so I need capital to extend a channel to a new level and that's why I'm coming to patreon otherwise I would not have uh, this is a, a small request to all of you so coming to the markets uh, the markets are refusing to fall in my previous video uh, last weekend I had put up uh, the thing that the budget is not good and the market could fall at least 10 to 15 percent but it has not and uh, I appreciate the fact uh, uh, that many of the viewers have put in the uh, points uh, that uh, my analysis about the market falling is not going right uh, but I feel at uh, around 12,000 levels uh, the market is trading at around 28 times which is still expensive uh, that is the benchmark indexes so people are piling on to quality and maybe they'll not be able to make a lot of money in the next two three years although they might not lose so buying bajaj finance at 4500 or titan at 13 1400 or irctc at 15 1600 might look good because of its of, of their past performance uh, but i believe that uh, over the next two three years they might not do as well as they have done over the last two years so look for quality small cap companies not look for all the small cap companies with high debt and no business or very little business and they have sold their you know, major stake family silver etc but look for very good quality uh, small cap businesses which have survived the turmoil of the last two years and are now cropping up so there are many uh, that are there and there are many that I have uh, looked at and performed videos on uh, multi baggers so those are the stocks that look really good on charts as well as uh, on numbers so apart from one or two of those uh, others are really interesting and although they have run up they would do well over the next two to three years so look for quality uh, small caps the benchmark indexes looks expensive and we could see fall in the yields of benchmark stocks they might not do that well over the next two three years so look for declines in small cap index on any bad day and and uh, buy into quality small caps with low or no debt and high profitability high cash flow etc coming to the questions from the viewers uh, uh, Samir Birot has uh, asked that I should compare Dixon with Ember technology I'll put up a video of that as well I have made a video on Dixon technology as well as Ember so you can go through both of them uh, one uh, distinction between the two is or one distinctive point about the two is that Ember is more related towards uh, uh, 
businesses from the AC market. So most of the AC companies or manufacturing of the AC parts are done by Amber. Although Dixon are into uh, diversified businesses, as I explained, into lighting, uh, consumer goods, consumer durables, white goods, and phones, televisions, etc. Everything. Whereas Amber is more or less catering towards all the big AC companies and they are making a lot of money during the summer period that quarter of June and September are really good for Amber whereas a quarter of December and September are good for Dixon and not quite June. So these are the distinctions. So Dixon is not quite a direct competitor of Amber technology but yes both are third party vendors for most of the consumer durable business uh, can i have become whirlpool as i explained about dixon becoming like aisher ifb and whirlpool are different companies check three men and uh, i feel ifb in itself is uh, into a niche space with producing microwaves and dishwashers they are really good at producing dishwashers i've been using ifb dishwasher for a, for a while and uh, ifp itself in that space if if say for instance like page industries making jockey products and that brand of jockey has made page industries that big uh i i have a feeling that uh, or aisha motors with royal enfield i have a feeling if ifp really does work and really does even better with the with dishwashers they could become big just because of that because the lifestyle of people are changing with the, both uh, the members of the family working uh, both husband and wife uh, they are more or less inclined towards either hiring a maid or uh, having a dishwasher placed and you can uh, put in the utensils and they get uh, washed straight away so overnight so i believe the dishwashers could be the next big thing in india with the uh, condiment at apartments and uh, with kitchens uh, that are already tailor-made and uh, they are uh, renovated and furnished for people to get in so uh, yes ifb itself could become big because of that whirlpool on the other hand is itself a big on acs and washing machines and refrigerators and they are a huge brand compared to ifb and they have made their brand over the years taking over godrej godrej being the biggest brand in uh, almiras and uh, refrigerators but whirlpool has taken that over because of the kind of products that they are producing so whirlpool is in a different space altogether ifb could become big in a different space although both of them cater to the white goods market so you have to take that into consideration yes ifb's results have not been that magnificent as they should have been and the fact that that has already run up over the last uh, four or five years the stock is taking a breather but ifb itself on standalone basis is pretty good uh, chakravarti has asked about escorts escorts and other companies which are related to farm or farm equipments or farm products uh, which is related to farming farmers etc might not do well over the next couple of years because the rural income is going down and the rural production of agriculture is not going up so straight away buying into stocks which are related to rural consumption might not do well escorts hero motocorp etc might not do well although i sure may do well because they are catering to the urban market as well so take that into consideration once a rural market comes back into picture and it does really well uh, then uh, you would see a great spurt in escorts as well So probably avoid escorts for the moment and look for consumption in the higher income group or higher middle class or rich income group that would do really well. Uh, hello sir, I am a student who can barely save 2000 rupees at the end of the month. What would be the best way uh, to select stocks? Should we SIP in big stocks which are above 1000 rupees or buy a bunch of small stocks which might not be good? Uh, with single digit or a double digit uh, you can say price uh, Devashish has asked this question now I can understand that many people consider price per se of a stock 
as being expensive or cheap uh, don't go by that devashish look to invest 2000 rupees every month so for instance you have to buy say for instance dixon technology which trades at say right now it is trading at 4400 and suppose it comes down to 4000 rupees and you have to buy and you have 2000 rupees saved so how can you buy even one share what you can do is save for two months and buy one share of dixon technology for 4000 rupees it is not about buying which uh, buying a stock of which price but it is about buying which stock are you going to go get into and which company are you going to get into get into companies which have very good cash flows and you can get cash flow statements on any websites whether it's money control screener etc economic times if you just do a little bit of research you'll find out whether they are cash positive or negative second thing they are paying dividends third thing they they are having sales and profitability growth sales growth of at least 20 percent year on year profitability growth of at least 25 to 30 percent and get into them even if they are small cap mid cap or large cap and get into them for the next 10 15 years don't buy as you are a student that's why i'm uh, advising that you put in 2000 rupees uh for the next 10 years and you'll see the difference what it makes to your final income when you take that out after 10 15 years look for such stocks and you can look at all my videos of multi beggar picks and find out about the, such stocks as well and some of them are priced in double digit as well and some of them are priced in four digits so you can take your pick but don't uh, restrict yourself just because the stock price is 4000 or 10000 or 8000 or so on and so forth look for profitability and growth uh, arun T has asked uh, whether i can uh, review polymed sure arun in the next few days i'll do that i i took a uh, i took up your uh, request even earlier as well it's just that there are a lot of companies that i have to review and uh, a lot of companies that are pending and uh, polymed is one of them so in a few days you'll you'll get a video on polymed as, as well uh kumar speaks uh, has asked sir can you spell the company name you mentioned in kid diagnostic company you invested in uh it's not kid diagnostic it's it's diagnostic kits business k-i-t-s and uh, even the, there was a rumor going around uh, that they could uh, manufacture coronavirus uh, kits uh, to uh, find out about the coronavirus which they have refuted firmly uh, the company is kilpest india and i have made a video uh, with the respect to kilpest india i'll put a link uh, of that video on the right hand side uh, uh, of this video itself and i believe that it is a, one of the cheapest um, small cap companies with profits uh, growing profits and sales and into a diagnostic business so not many people know about it it is just 70 75 crore market cap a risky bet yes but it could make you a lot of money uh, that's kilpest india okay so coming to uh, more questions that have come in uh, is z cheap or risky is uh, asked jack three men i believe Ch z is extremely risky with the kind of debt that the company is in with the kind of corporate governance issue that the z is facing uh, you don't know on which side of the bed uh, the things would uh, come up uh, next day so do not invest yes you can trade for a few days and get out and make some cute money but do not put a large sum of money into z for the moment until everything uh, clears up okay so vijay kumar has asked aishar is a brand itself it is a manufacturer of royal enfield then there is jockey with page industries but dixon is a third party vendor so how can you compare all of them i agree completely that uh, in in my opinion aisha motors is, is a huge brand and dixon doesn't uh, even stand in front of it but uh, the kind of uh, opportunity that dixon kindly uh, right now possesses if the management does everything very smartly and they are doing it by not having a lot of debt and yet expanding into bringing in more customers dixon could become a brand in itself for instance dixon technology do not manufacture anything by by itself and i hope they don't and they keep on harboring all these brands so they have samsung 
as a brand for manufacturing mobile phones just now so they'll do it in the march quarter they'll do it big in the march quarter they got the approval in november so this march quarter would be big uh, on mobile phone manufacturing if they get say for example sony ericsson and if they eventually get in get in imagine that they if if they eventually uh, get xiaomi's uh, phone business uh, which they might not but they might so look at the opportunity that uh, uh, dixon has plus understand that dixon technologies at the moment only uh, exports maybe around 10 12 percent of the business uh, worldwide once uh, india starts manufacturing electronic goods to a level which is equivalent to korea or japan we could see dixon coming out as the bellwether or the topmost company in manufacturing electronic goods white goods and exporting it worldwide even the management has talked about it last quarter so this uh, we have to look at the opportunities that a business possesses and the kind of profitability that it is doing currently in order to invest we have to forecast as to which businesses might do well dixon might not do well uh, and might not surface all these points and eventually might not even become multi bagger and may fall but you have to look at opportunities and buy you lo you look at a company like manpasand beverages i was listening to uh, ramdev agarwal ji and he was said that the opportunity for juice market or the business that manpasand was getting into was huge and that's why they got into that although it completely failed because of the bad management so you never know what happens but you have to look at the brighter picture and the positivity and that's why i uh, inculcated dixon two or three times over the last few months as multi bagger pick in in one way or the other uh, there's a question about uh, india bull housing finance is it a buy again check three man has asked a lot of question thanks a lot check three man kindly support me on patreon as well if you are able to uh, and that's a request going out for everyone uh, india bull housing finance uh, there are two points into it one is that i don't like uh, housing finance or any finance company for that matter yes hdfc bank has done well and hdfc brand has done well kotak mahindra at this moment is doing well uh, but apart from that i don't see any financial company bajaj finance is another factor but again bajaj finance is more a consumer play than a finance company finservo finance but that's just about it although the financial sector here in india is about 40 percent of the market yet only three or four companies come to mind that have made real wealth for the investors and that's why i stay away from financial sector and if you look at any big turmoil in the market or any big scam in the market over the past 30 40 years globally it has happened because of the meltdown or the problems in the financial sector all the problems related to debt so one one has to understand that i i am not a ca i don't understand many financial books and that's why i stay away from it i am a more consumption uh, person and look at pure consumption plays that are running around whether it's in mid small or large cap and i go by that your views on aditya Birla capital uh, shashank uh, same view as uh, what i have just uh, said about india bull housing finance i in my opinion and this is my personal opinion you can take your own decision i stay away from any financial firms uh, should we buy Bajaj Finserv asked Nand Kishore Patil as I explained just now uh, apart from Bajaj Finance, Finserv and HDFC brands others are uh, an avoid any decline of 15 to 20 percent in Bajaj Finserv is a buying opportunity don't buy at the top that's the only thing I'll suggest uh, to you Nand Kishore yes you can invest and have a 8 to 10 year time frame do not have uh, more than that So your views on Aditya Birla Capital as Shashank. I have the similar view as IBHF that I just explained that I am not in favor of buying any financial company. Aditya Birla Capital in itself is a good company to invest in but since I don't understand financial companies that well and I am not quite in favor of companies that are more taking debt or investing in debt etc. Then I stay away from uh, such companies. 
शुड वी बाय बजाज फेंसर्व इज अ रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम नंद किशोर पाटिल नाउ बजाज बजाज फेंसर्व और फाइनेंस इज एन एक्सेप्शन एज इज एच डी एफ सी बैंक और एच डी एफ सी स्टॉक्स सो येस यू कैन इन्वेस्ट इन टू इट बट अगेन लुक फॉर फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिक्लाइन टेन फिफ्टीन परसेंट डिक्लाइन फ्राम द टॉप एंड डोंट बाय एट द टॉप दैट इज माई कंसिड्रेशन विद बजाज फेंसर्व नंद किशोर डॉक्टर प्रसन्ना सारू हैज़ रिक्वेस्टेड मी फॉर अ वीडियो on Pfizer and Bayer crop sciences Pfizer is a very good pharmaceutical company that you can invest in uh, providing drugs Bayer crop sciences is really good at in uh, in in the farm farm sector or for farmers or in the agricultural space i'll definitely make uh, separate videos for Pfizer and Bayer crop sciences in the coming weeks uh Shridhar has asked about uh, discussing about insurance sector after the budget now this is one thing i wanted to discuss with all of you that now the insurance sector doesn't look that attractive as it was looking before budget because of the announcements done by mrs nirmala sitaraman because uh, the fact that uh, now you can choose between investing or sorry choose between saving tax by investments into insurance etc through atcc or just waiving tax altogether if you are between 5 lakh and 10 lakh or below 5 lakh rupees income group uh, per year that would have a detrimental effect on insurance just because people uh, used to go into insurance or invest into insurance or uh, into equities just because uh, or so that they wanted to save tax so if if that purpose is not served many people might not go ahead and invest into these sectors or uh, products so yes it is detrimental for the insurance sector i'll definitely put up a, a video mr shridhar in the coming weeks on the same so this was my video on uh, the question and answer session for this week please like and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so that you can get my video straight away when i post it thanks a lot for watching